Hi third graders, today you're going to learn the cursive letter M. When you look at this book on here, um, I want to point out that we have a print letter M right here, but then we have a cursive letter M. And one of the huge things that we get confused and forget about is that the cursive letter M has three humps when the print one only has two. And that's because this first one is kind of just it's like it's coming from the, the letter before. So that first hump, you can almost pretend like that's not there when you think about the letter M. You can think about that being like the tail from the letter before, and then it comes into the actual letter M. So I'm gonna teach you about this. So this would be like, oh, I just finished my letter Q, I'm doing my, my tail of it into the letter M, and now I have to do two more humps and then back up. They're all similar in size. They all stop at the dotted line. None of them pass this line right here and they just have a little tail at the end. So if you were to see what it looks like, let's say I just finished my cursive letter I, now I'm going into my M, you can see that it, this is here because this is coming from the I and then it makes that M. So I'm gonna show you a couple more of them. And you start right here, you go up to the dotted line, trace that back up, back up to the dotted line, trace that line back up, make a hump, and then make a little tail. So I'll do it one more time. You start on the bottom line, up to the dotted line, up to the dotted line. I'm tracing that line up every time and then making that little tail. Sometimes what I see people do is not trace that, that line back up like this and then it gets really messy. So if you're doing yours where you're going like this and then like that, that's not correct. So make sure that your M has you tracing that line up until you need to curve away and then you have your tail on the end. So you start here, go up, mine's at an angle and then make that tail at the end. So finish up your uh, first row here then you'll stop and you'll show your teacher when you get to the end of that first row. When you get to the end of the first row, they'll make any critiques that you need to change to make it better. You can finish that top section and then finish the rest of your page. Good luck.